hello viewers welcome to my channel here in this video i want to show everyone on how to finish up the population density map if you are just joining me for the first time in this series please do well to check under the comment section or the video description to the part one of this video of how we came about all this you will see the mathematics and the rest of the uh, techniques in producing your population density map of your region all right so when you get to this stage the next thing is to change this so this is actually the state boundary so you click on it you right click then scroll down to properties so then you come to general then you can call this state boundary you click on apply and ok when you are done with that you come to this layout view all right or you can come to view then you click on layout view so it's going to launch you to this window then you can increase this a little for it to accommodate all right so when you click on that you can right click then you zoom extend to center your map all right when you are done with that you can now add the grids okay add the grids to your maps by right clicking come to properties come to grids come to new grids then i'm going to go with graticals all right you click on next i'll go with graticals and labels all right then you click on next click on next then finish all right then you now come to properties on your properties if yours is on axis you come to labels then you click on left right then you can increase the font size all right so i'm going to go with them i will leave it at area then you click on apply and ok when you are done with that next you click on apply and ok so you are going to see your grids and graphical on your map all right so that is not all you will quickly add your legend by coming to insert you scroll down to legend you click on that so state boundary and nigeria so these are the two information i have on my layers and i want it to be shown there okay so i'll make this to come up then you click on next then i don't want border to be on my uh legend if you want border to be on your legend you can come here and click this however i will leave it as none then you come and click on next so nothing to do much here you click on next then you click on finish so these are my legends you can drag it to the side however the legend is too long so i want to break it so if you want to break it you right click on the legend you click on properties all right then you come to items on your items you come down to column count for items then you can increase it so i will increase it as three so i want to break it into three columns all right then you click on apply and okay so you can see it has break the legend into three columns so it is okay by me this way So when you are done with the legend you can choose to decrease it a little bit it's too bulky then you quickly add your not arrow all right by coming to insert then you come to not arrow so all maps you can see different not arrow so i'll just go with this so if yours is not checked to fit to page you click on the box to fit it to page then you can drag it to the upper side of your map then you can increase it after that you are to insert your title by coming to insert then you click on title so i'm going to give it population density map 2024. So this is projected. Please note it is projected.
all right projected population density map of nigeria 2024 then you click on ok so if it is too big all right you double click on it come to change symbol so the test font is too big the test size is too big so you click on change symbol then you come to size then you can reduce it so i'm just going to leave it as 14 then you click on ok apply ok so it has adjusted and it is okay by me this way all right so the next thing is to come to insert then you add come to dynamic text add the coordinate system which your job was mapped on so you click on coordinate system it is going to generate that for you so you can leave this here all right then when you are done with all this okay the next thing to do is to add a base map Okay, add your base map to this uh, population density map to make it more professional all right by connecting your system to an active internet so i'm going to connect my system to an active internet therefore my system is connected to an active internet then you come to the show hidden icon on your system you click on that then you come to this app gis icon so you can see ArcGIS not connected then you double click on it when you double click on it you give it a little bit time then you check on it again then you will see ArcGIS connected to ArcGIS online all right so it is successfully connected to ArcGIS online therefore when you are connected to the ArcGIS online you click and highlight the uh, map frame okay then you come to add data you will see the drop down shadow arrow beside it you click on the arrow then you will see these options add data add base map add data from archives online then you click on add base map you give it a little bit time depending on the speed of your system therefore guys this is the uh, population density map you saw on the thumbnail and that is how I come about it all right from A to Z please refer to the video the part one of this video to see how to come about the first uh, series all right so you can choose to try the other base map so I'm just going to uncheck this so try I love going with this this particular base map light gray canvas you click on it then you click on add so guys that is just it that is just it all right that is just how to produce it so you can just choose to uncheck the word light gray all right you check it then based on what you saw on the thumbnail this is it i'm going to leave it as this all right i'm going to leave it as this then you cannot choose to export by coming to file then you can print directly or you export your map as jpeg so here for these are the different options you can choose to export as jpeg ordinary picture or pdf okay so i'm just going to use pdf then you can now give it a file name so i'm going to give this youtube so you note the folder then you click on save so it is exported successfully then you can just go to the folder Therefore, guys, this is the map, the population density map. If you find this video helpful, please do well to hit on the subscribe icon and turn on the notification bell if you are yet to do so on this channel to keep getting more informative and educative tutorial videos. Thank you. See you in the next video.